Hello and welcome to another Popper video. Today we're playing Alter Tron. This is a deck that combos using Ashnod's Alter and Mirror Retriever to make infinite Mirror Retriever loops, making infinite golems with Golem Foundry, infinite mana, infinite damage, infinite storm. Yeah, we're going infinite. This deck is really sweet and uh, could potentially be too slow against Glitters, so that's one of the things we want to check out. But it is very, very good against decks like mid-range gardens control even called out the burn uh so we're gonna walk over a lot of the format just by having so much mana with tron and by having a combo that can go off early the main deck i'm playing eight one mana artifacts that i can sacrifice to my deadly disputes my grim searches we also have four candy trails which is a preordain effect that's really awesome and it's an early way to try to find Tron. We also have two crop rotation to get Tron online. So we have, we're really, really focused on having the Tron mana. Makeshift munitions is one of the best win conditions. And I wouldn't, definitely would play this in paper. I mean, you could potentially play Reckless Fire Weaver or something online if you wanted to do that. We have Conjurer's Bobble, which is a way to recycle a card and can put makeshift munitions back in if it gets countered. And that is. And then we're playing three Weather the Storms for life gain to try to buy some time. Sideboard some more Finger and Marauders or, and Weather the Storm. Two Nature's Claim and an Ancient Grudge to fight against the Glitters deck. There's potential for playing a card like Wilt, but I'm going to play Claim right now. I think Wilt is fine, but I'm a little bit concerned about speed, and I would rather have the Nature's Claim as a one-mana action spell. And then we have... Three Kark Clan Shamans to wipe the board against Walls, Elves, and uh, Kaldo the Red. Two Scatter Shots for Fairies. A Stream of Thought, which is a Magic Online concession to make me not time out versus Weather the Storm decks. But essentially you can go infinite with uh, mana and then Stream of Thought your opponent to kill them instead of trying to uh, actually win with Munitions or Golem Foundries tokens. And we have two Three Nile Spell Bombs for terrors and flicker loop decks. So that is the deck. If you're interested in the sideboard guide for this specific version, check out the Patreon, which is patreon.com slash That is up. I also put up a big video, which was describing my sideboarding and uh, matchup against the meta decks that exist right now. And don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you in the matches. We're here in round one on the play. We find Rockets, Bobble, Star, Crop Rotation. Okay, we have 17 lands in the deck. We have a really good chance of hitting if we cycle the Star into Conjurer's Bobble. Could also play the Wizard's Rockets and crack that for zero mana. I'm going to keep this hand. This is a one lander, but we have a pretty good chance of hitting another land. It's probably better to play the Wizard's Rockets out than the Chromatic Star since I can just crack it for zero, and I also have this coming into play tapped, so I'll do that. Our opponent mulligans to six so far. And play the Wizard's Rockets and pass. I like to tell people to be a little bit more conservative with their mulligans, and that keeping a one lander is not great. So, you know, we gotta take risks sometimes. Looks like we're against mono red. I'm gonna crack this for green. Draw a card, we draw mine. That's very good. So now we can play Star and play Conjurer's Bobble and pass the turn. So on our opponent's end step, it's likely that I just Bobble, but we'll see what happens. They play Kaldotha Rebirth, so now they have creatures on the table, but no second land, which is very good for me. Okay, draw for turn. I did not Bobble, forgot to, so luckily we have this candy trail, and I can see what I'm going to draw. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna put hmm, I'm gonna put both of these on the top. Then I'm gonna sacrifice this for green. It doesn't really matter either way. Let's draw a card. Don't really need to put the Wizards Rockets back on the bottom. You can play the Polluted Mire. Crack this for green. Then I draw the the um, Golden Foundry. Crop rotation this into tower. So now we have turn three Tron. We don't have colors though, which is a problem, but we have Golem Foundry and we can pass. 
And then next turn, we can play Ashnot's Altar as well as sacrifice the Candy Trail. So we're looking at two Refractors, six Star Effects, and then, so that's eight, plus any number of Expedition Map or Grotto or Mirror Retriever, and all of those things would allow me to have colors on the next turn. They're going to Bushwhack me for eight. Okay, we're going to go to 12 and then back up to 15 with Candy Trail. But they still have four power on the table. Slamming in. Okay, my turn. We find the Chromatic Star. Let's go ahead and draw. Play the Ashnaut's Altar. Drawing the munitions was not very good in that moment. Let's play the Chromatic Star. I'll pass the turn. I think the most likely thing that's going to happen is that I'm going to have to wreck Rowan's Grim Search on the Ashnod's Altar to try to look for another colored source, but we'll still be spitting out golems. If we find another artifact that we can dispute away, we can just use the Chromatic Star to do that. Looks like they might have another Bushbacker here. They're on the fancy version. Okay, Epicure, not Bushbacker. So we get a 14, and they play a one drop, slam in, put me to 10. Okay, best draw here is probably a Mirror Retriever. We can Mirror Retriever some things back, get some colors online and deadly dispute and stuff. Still have Weather the Storm available. Astronaut's Altar again. Okay, so let's crack this for black. At least we have a backup altar, I guess. Find a Chromatic Star. I think I have to Grim Search the Altar. Looking for a Mirror Retriever. There's a Retriever. So do I want the Candy Trail or the Deadly Dispute? Let's see, let's see. We can play... Hmm. Candy Trail digs me two and gains life. And it's a one drop, so it would kind of go better out along with this uh, Weather the Storm I'm trying to cast. So I really don't like getting rid of these when I have to bottom those. It makes me feel bad. Okay. The order. Now, because we have the Mirror Retriever, we can play the Ashnod's Altar. Okay. Then we can pop out a Golem. Sacrifice the Golem. Play a Mirror Retriever. Uh-huh. Play Candy Trail. See what we draw. Or see, anyway. Go okay. So we just have the win? Huh. Okay. Um, can I win and... I think I can win... Let's top these. So we sacrifice the Ashnod's alt, the Mirror Retriever. Grabbing, I think I'm gonna grab a Chromatic Star for colored sources. Then we play Star. Is this working out? Oh, I'm not winning this turn, am I? Thought I had the mana to do this. No, yes I do, okay. Play the Star. Bracket for green. Golem Foundry, and then we just use the mana here because I'm going to have to loop and I don't really want to have mana floating, which makes it really, really tough to loop. Play the Mirror Retriever, turn five combo, no big, no big deal, get the Mirror Retriever back. Okay, so now I can show you how to do this effectively. Put the Mirror Retriever on the stack, press one, for okay, on the hotkeys, and move this over here, okay. Click around, and now it's 104, and we want to get to a bunch of golems. But the thing that's going to probably seal the deal is the life gain here. So I'm just going to loop for a while and uh, see where we can get to. Storm is currently 10. And sacrifice the candy trail to get the golem foundry to make the looping easier. All right, let's do that. Even though I'm going to be floating, I'm going to make do this. So we make a golem. Okay. Mirror tree around the table. Sacrifice. Draw a card. Sacrifice. Oh, a little bit of lag. We'll play the golem foundry. And then I can actually pass to my second main phase. All right, now I can loop. That'll make it a lot quicker for me in the end. 2101. The point is to just sacrifice uh and then for sacrifice for green cast weather the storm
no problem. Okay, in reality, I could probably loop enough that I would have like enough to kill them with, but it's already been a few minutes of looping. So I'm just going to get enough to have 30 power of golems and then just send it. Because I can always uh, shoot them with the makeshift munitions later. That's probably a better plan. Okay. <laughs> they scoop it up. They don't want to see me do it. That's pretty funny. We would have been able to go green and then weather the storm for a lot and then just kind of like chill. And then we could have mirror retrievered for a chromatic star and then sacrifice the deadly dispute and deadly dispute one of the foundry tokens but eh, they gave it to me they're probably tired of it so we're bringing in the Kark clan shamans and all of the other life gain cutting the bauble and my combo pieces and this is because the bauble is not required they're never going to counter or kill the makeshift munitions they're never going to discard it and then we want to wipe the board with the Quarks. We want all the life gain we possibly have. And I don't really think you need the Ancient Grudge, but if you wanted to bring it in, you could cut a Grim Search. So that's kind of dependent on whether or not they're on like a four relic plan. Okay, so we have Quark and turn three Tron, so I'm going to keep this. Crop rotation doesn't look super good. Our second mind is not super good. They play Tomb Raider and slam in for two. We're at 18. So we're looking for them to not have a shatter, but we found the power plant anyway. That's kind of sweet. So I guess we probably expedition map for the crystal grotto. So I have a colored source. Looks like they have the smash of smithereens. They have cast into the fire. Okay. We're looking for a colored source here. Did not find it. Don't think it's worth it to play the mirror retriever out at the moment. Nothing to get back. If I could draw a Refractor, I could actually play Refractor and Mirror Retriever and Crark Clan Shaman and wipe the board. But I don't know if I really want to use my board wipe on this Goblin Tomb Raider here. Looks like they're going to Bushwhacker me and put me to 12. So on the draw, maybe this hand was kind of a trap because we knew that there was a possibility for them to have a way of killing the Expedition map. All right, Tower, I guess pass the turn. Definitely a problem here. All the mana, we're all dressed up with nowhere to go. Their runs resolve into a Blast Runner and a Koldotha Rebirth. Probably cast the Blast Runner. They're going to cast both, okay. I would probably... Hmm. Blast Runner. See if they sacrifice the Great Furnace. No, they're going to get in for three. I guess because the Koldotha Rebirth can turn on the Blast Runner. Looks like we're just going to lose to not having colored sources. It's funny that my somewhat riskier hand that I thought I was keeping a risky hand in game one did not end up being risky. Uh, all right, expedition map. Crack the map, grab a grotto, play the grotto. See what we see. I think I'm just going to... I think I'm dead here. Let's see. This isn't going to do anything. Let's just move on. See what we're gonna draw. Yeah, that wasn't gonna be very good. So let's try again. We want to have life gain and colors and Tron mana. I think I got a little too sucked in by having the Tron mana there. Playing first. Mulligan. We have Tron. We have a black source. It's probably fine. Let's just lead on getting Tron online. And uh, depending, if we don't find another source, we might want to just play the Polluted Mire on turn two. Have turn four Tron. Just so that we could actually cast Rowan's Grim Search on turn three. Or we could cycle and then play, you know, kind of depends on what we draw. They've got a Blast Runner. Kind of weather the storm. I think I am going to play the Polluted Mire and pass. If they can turn three or four me, then we're going to die to a turn three, I guess. Don't have Weather the Storm online. Plays Voldaire and Epicure. Next turn, I'm taking six damage. Okay, gets in. I'm going to play this and pass the turn. So on their end step, we're going to lose two additional life. And then draw two cards. We're going to draw for turn. Then as long as we can draw a colored source, we can Weather the Storm next turn. I definitely tried to build my deck to have lots of colored sources, but I guess it didn't work out. 
They crack the implement. They're going to hit me for seven, putting me to 10. Ah, oh, man. So if off of this we draw a deadly dispute, we could do some stuff here. Draw cards. Jeez. We're just, we're just dead, I think. Play Mirror Retriever as a blocker. Kind of stinks. We just crushed them in game one, and then now we're just like floundering without colored sources. They can crack for a Kaldotha Rebirth. Do I care about being at one instead of two? I think I'm going to not block because I could draw a Deadly Dispute and play Weather the Storm. Yeah, it didn't matter. That did not work out. Let's go to round two. Round two on a play again. We have to be very careful with mulligans. Okay, so what do I think about this? We have map for Tron. We also have Candy Trail. Your retriever can get back Candy Trail at some point. We have crop rotation. I think this is a keep. This looks very strong to me. We have to pay close attention. And I'm trying to build the deck so that you have a lot of draw twos and can really come back from a mulligan. So that is like not that big of a deal. Let's crack for the colored source, the crystal grotto here. Um, I don't want to mess up my scry with the candy trail. Our opponent seems to be on blue black terror. They're brainstorming in their main phase looking for a land. But they could also be on demure control. <laughs> Free win. Okay, I'll take it. Bring these in under the assumption that they're blue black terror. We can cut the crop rotations against the mid-rangey terror deck, and then I think we can also cut the weather the storm. We might not necessarily need the makeshift munitions and conjurer's bobble, but I'm going to stick with it. And versus these somewhat slower decks, Candy Trail does a really good um, amount of life gain and like stalling. So you don't really need as many weather the storms there. Okay, this seems like a fine hand. We have a couple different ways to scry. They're going to lead on a preordain. So that makes me understand that it's not terror, but we'll see what happens. They probably are going to be more on uh, play this candy trail. They're probably going to play relics and stuff since it seems to be a, um, we're going to bottom the weather storm, top the deadly dispute. It seems to be like the blue black control deck. We're going to draw the deadly dispute and then crystal grotto to scry. There's that relic. Crystal grotto. We got the free win earlier, so now we have to fight. I think I'll take... That was kind of a mistake. Let's Refractor here. I was thinking that I could just Deadly Dispute the Refractor. And still draw a card. But maybe that's not really where I wanted to be. Golem Foundry. Let's play Nile Spellbomb. See if they're a Fairies deck. Play an Energy Refractor. Did they spell pierce it? I got nothing going on. They're going to brainstorm in response. That probably means to me that they just are getting lazy and just want to do it now and then get that set up. Four mana. They're going to play a Murmuring Mystic. Okay. So we can resolve the Candy Trail or the Golem Foundry now. How lucky do I feel? If I Deadly Dispute the Refractor and I draw into a land. I think I really have to go for that. Did not find a land. Play Candy Trail. Get rid of the Refractor here. So my plan is to bobble back the Deadly Dispute. Bottom, bottom. Play Conjurer's Bobble. Make the Deadly Dispute. Wow. So I guess I clearly should have played the Golem Foundry because I'm getting wrecked. Had no lands. They're going to get in for one and play a ninja. So they are fairies? Very confusing. So now that we know that they're fairies, it's going to be a lot easier to sideboard. Play this power plant. Golem Foundry is a house versus fairies. Will it resolve? Probably not. Uh, if it doesn't resolve, though, we probably aren't winning this game because they're already so far ahead and they have the ninja on the table. It resolves. Okay. We're just going to cycle this Nile Spell Bomb. Another power plant. Okay, Golden Foundry is pretty good. But they have the ninja slamming in, drawing cards. 
We're looking for a tower so we can go over the top of them. They're playing a, the Murmuring Mystic again. Okay. Gets rid of the spell bomb. Let's attempt to hmm. We can cast a blood fountain. See if they're gonna spell setter it. They're they're not gonna spell setter it. Okay. Let's attempt to deadly dispute the blood token. That resolves, just snap resolves. Okay. Land. Play this wizard's rockets. Alright. I'll play a chromatic star. And I, now I have a golem that I can block with. Of course, they clearly have removal, but it's still good to just start spewing out blockers. All right, we're looking for a tower. They're going to relic away my deadly dispute? No. Okay. Make a golem. Can I block? They have the snuff out. Okay. Bold strategy, Cotton. Uh, snuff out's pretty strong. But we have life gain. I'm not really concerned. I just want to stay ahead on cards and keep getting some golems onto the table. It's going to be pretty hard to uh, combo through this relic. But we do have the blood fountain to be able to beat it a little bit. All right, what are you doing? Playing an angler, looks like. One of the black rows. Okay, so they just really want cards. They want cards so bad. Okay, they draw for turn. All right, let's go ahead and deadly dispute the wizard's rockets. Draw a card, draw some more cards. If Ashnon's altar resolves, we win here, but I don't think it's gonna resolve. Should I just go for it? Let's crack this for green. Hmm. It's black. Let's grim search the chromatic star. Draw a card. Looking for tower. Will this resolve? Somehow it just snap resolves. Okay, I'll take the tower and chromatic star. Play the tower. I feel like they should have countered that. Play Ashnod's altar. Maybe they're just saving their counters. Okay. Wizards rockets. Did we just win? Chromatic star. I mean, this isn't really a win yet. You can play the mirror retriever here. They have counterspell now is a good time as well. They don't have counterspell. Let's get back a chromatic star, I guess. They don't crack the relic. I'm really confused. I think I'm just going to weather the storm and plan on trying to beat the relic on the next turn. Weather the storm, gain a bunch of life. Look, I just don't know what's going on over there exactly. I'm gonna get in for a large amount. And draw a card. I can go to eight cards in hand. Okay, they're going to Okiba gang me. All right. I think that's fine. Discard, discard. Bajukabog. Mean. Mm hmm. Good fun tower. Land. First things first. How much mana do we have? We have a lot of mana. Let's just Grim search this rockets. Put a card into the graveyard, basically. They're going to counterspell. Finally does something. Let's play the Mirror Retriever. So here we just simply beat the Relic by having a uh, Blood Fountain on the table. Play Mirror Retriever. Go ahead and sacrifice the Mirror Retriever. Sacrifice Mirror Retriever again. We crack the Relic. And then I just go ahead and uh, do this. Doink. Blood Fountain these two things back. Onboard Relic is now useless. And we will play Candy Trail. Do some scrying. Don't care about those ones. And they scoop it up. Too free. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next match. Round three versus Captain Morgan. I don't think we can keep this hand. We're going to mulligan. One land and no other ways to get stuff. So this hand seems fine. Let's keep it. We can put back one foundry. So Candy Trail can scry, and then we can draw another card. Plays Rust Veil Bridge, indicating probably it's a Glitters deck. Candy Trail for me, looking for Tower, um, or Colored Sources, I guess. Our Plant on the bottom. We'll take the Rockets and pass. I think I probably want to just crack the Candy Trail on this turn to give me the highest chance of finding a uh, Tower. 
on the next turn just from a, raw, a regular draw. Okay, it's just guy ephemerate. It's, it's completely different. Still fine, I think. We have. Uh, now we get a swamp. So getting the golem foundry out fast is really important here. I think I'm going to deadly dispute the canny trail. Okay, pass the turn. They don't have counterspell available. They could have cast into the fire in the main deck. Not sure if that's going to be the case, but we need to put the golem foundry onto the table as soon as possible. Okay, they didn't do anything. I think I'm going to go with Wizard's Rockets here. And then we can plan on Rowan's Grim searching it. Be interesting to see what they do. Most likely, okay, I guess nothing. Uh, play a Candy Trail. A little preordain action. Scry 2. Tower. We're going to bottom this. Pop the tower. And then draw a card. I'm going to just scry with this grotto, see what's on top. I think I am going to keep the blood fountain. That just gives me more fodder to use. Like I can discard, I can scry. I mean, not scry, but I can do a lot of stuff with that blood fountain. Do do do. Cast a mole drifter. Okay. My turn. Land. Let's grim search this. You get to draw a card and then scry or uh surveil four basically. Oh man, all this is not good. Draw, find a deadly dispute. Let's play expedition map and then deadly dispute the map. So now we have a three three. Find a candy trail. Play the candy trail. See what's on top. Golem foundry. I'm gonna bottom of the map and I think I'm gonna top the golem foundry. I'm just going to, should I weather the storm or just play the blood fountain? I think I should play the blood fountain and then discard or weather the storm. We have the tower lined up if they're going to just use um, wildfire on my tower. We have another one that we can play. Let's have a swamp. Okay, Captain Morgan gets in for two. All right. Put out a golem token, and then uh, we're going to pass the turn. They're going to discard the hand size. That's interesting. Discarding a breath weapon. I just didn't want that. Let's uh, play out this altar, see if they want to counter that. Gives us another golem. They didn't want to counter it. Draw a card. I'm going to play the chromatic star here, and then attack. I don't want to let them use their counter spell at this moment. Just give them free value. Wait till they tap down and then we can use, we can slam the golem foundry and try to like pressure or bait with it. They're going to get in for two. Okay. I wonder if they're going to discard the hand size again. Maybe they just have 16 counter spells in hand. Femorate. Okay. They're definitely going to have to discard the hand size now. That's a preordain. Okay, so they only have one counter spell that they can cast, potentially. Brainstorm, so no counter spell available at the moment. Plays the land, so they have counter spell now. Discards the hand size. So let's see what we draw. Any trail, that's very good because that can set me up. Play it right here. I'm gonna tap using the power plant, so I have three mana off the mine, and I could potentially cast it or use the golem foundry. All right, uh, Deadly Dispute's good. Now I think at this point, I don't care if the Golden Foundry gets countered. I'm gonna play that. No counter. All right, uh, let's just draw a card. Play Deadly Dispute. I wanted to draw a card again. Draw a card. Play the um, Wizard's Rockets. And then play land. Attack. Question is whether or not I should just try to slam the Deadly Dispute here. They haven't done anything. But I'm only going to be looking at the top card. So I'm not sure if it's the moment for that. Yeah, we'll just wait until their end step. They cycle Lorien Revealed. Okay. So if is going to resolve, they're going to go to 9 and then 10 cards in hand. Alright, 10 cards in hand. What do you got? Something good? Or are you just going to die to my golems? Plays a Murmuring Mystic. 
Probably should have deadly disputed in response. There's a land. If I had deadly disputed in response, they wouldn't have been able to use the counter spell here. I think I'm going to let that go. Make them discard the hand size again. They discard a land. We find a land. Okay, let's attack with everything. I definitely threw right there by not uh, deadly disputing with the murmuring mystic on the stack. Interesting. They're gonna let the mold drifter die. Ephemerates the mold drifter. Um, suck. All right, we're gonna try to deadly dispute here. We're definitely gonna draw one card, and it was not good. Okay, that was really solid. So we have energy refractor for mana now. They take three damage. We're gonna go energy refractor. Now, if they were holding a counter spell, they just like might be out of not knowing how to play against the deck. Okay, so they were holding a counter spell. That is a big surprise. Play Mirror Retriever. And I think we might be able to get there by sacrificing the altar, sacrificing the Retriever, then going for Candy Trails to try to, to dig. Play Candy Trail. We find another Mirror Retriever, we have the wind. Bottom, I think I still bottom that. Draw a card. Find a Refractor, play the Refractor. I'm gonna draw a card again, and we're making golems, which gives us mana here, and uh, allows us to go ahead and try to get back the mirror retriever. Then we can sacrifice the golem, play the mirror retriever, sacrifice the mirror retriever, get back the blood fountain, play the blood fountain. I mean, we have a lot of options now, but it seems like we're not necessarily there. Discard the power plant. There's the retriever. But now we have the infinite and uh, they're super dead. Okay, alter the retriever. Because we have uh, energy refractor and blood fountain, we can actually dig through our entire deck, but it's probably not going to be necessary. I'm just gonna make a bunch of golems. They only have three blockers or four blockers right now. Don't think they can kill us. They're at eight life, right? So probably just dead. Getting my stuff. That digging was very useful. So if you're here in paper, currently they're tapped out, you can mirror retriever back your cantrips and then blood fountain back your mirror retriever over and over with your infinite mana. And then you just find your makeshift munitions and throw it at their face. But they probably would have scooped to the combo here anyway. I'll pass the turn. No need to weather the storm or anything. They're definitely gonna have a lot of blockers, but I just don't know if it's gonna be enough to deal. They're ephemerating the mole drifter. We're just trying to save time here. Draws two cards, goes to 10 cards in hand again. Plays a land, so they have eight mana. Reordain, makes a bird. If they have double counterspell open, they're gonna wildfire my land, sure. I have a power plant in hand. Luckily we had one swamp left. Evokes a mole drifter. Okay, so they're gonna make me shoot them if I can. Drifter's dead. They have four, five, six, seven blockers. We have 11 three threes. One. So you want to hold control and put all these on the stack here like this to save a little bit of time. Golem's on the stack. Pass the turn. Now the whole stack's going to flop onto the table. We're going to draw. There's, they have to discard so much. Crazy. I will play my power plant eventually and we've been comboing and they're still down on clock all right send all they're just gonna take it sweet love it so we would have had to dig quite a bit oh the makeshift munitions was not even that far down sweet we probably could have gotten there so we want the spell bombs don't need them weather the storms and then we need the crop rotations. There's some there to bringing in the scatter shots instead of the makeshift munitions. So I think I'm gonna cut munitions and bobble, bring in the scatter shots. Cause the purpose here is that we can scatter shot their board and strand their ephemerates and exile as well as get rid of the creatures that matter, like Archaeomancer and stuff. Love scatter shot and Tron. All right, we have turn three Tron. 
Assuming they don't uh, wildfire me or kill my expedition map. Plays a floodplain, so that's not looking like a turn to kill your land. We play the expedition map. What do you got? They play a preordain. Brainstorm. All right, power plant. We're going to go ahead and grab our tower. Let's see if they simply don't have it. <laughs> Likely we just like play the tower and the map. I don't really want to play the Golden Foundry directly into a counter spell that they have available. We can use the Candy Trail for good success. They're going to ice my land. Yeah, I will take that for sure. No problem. I'm going to ice my other land? Can't. Tower. We almost have the combo. Golem Foundry. Play Candy Trail. So there's a scry and a golem. Um, don't think I need either of these. Play the expedition map here. Because if they kill my land, I can just map for another one. Otherwise, I want to just play out maybe retriever, altar, armoring mystic for the opponent. Play astronaut's altar. Okay. Play grotto. Let's do what's on top. Deadly dispute. I think that's good. Play my mirror retriever. Going to sacrifice the candy trail. Make a golem. Hmm. Sacrifice the mirror retriever. Get back the candy trail. Play the candy trail now. See what's on top. Another candy trail. I'm gonna bottom this. Top the candy trail. Draw a card. I'm gonna alter the golem. Play another candy trail. <laughs> See what's on top again. I'm going to bottom both of these. Pass the turn. So the retriever is stranded in the graveyard right now, which isn't isn't that great. We're looking for things that we can hit with the, gr with the Grim Search and the Deadly Dispute. We've got a golem. Not the greatest, but it does something. Looks like they're going to Drifter Ephemerate here. Let's let it go. Plays a red land, so they are looking to wildfire us coming up. Make a golem and pass the turn. I wonder if they have dispel. If they have dispel, I don't really want to use the grim search on the candy trail. Kind of crop rotation. Mm -hmm. Let's deadly dispute the expedition map because we have the crop rotation now. Play a golem foundry. I'm going to deadly dispute the. Candy Trail. Now I can crop rotation this grotto for a tower. They're still not really doing anything over there. Energy Refractor. Uh, say yes and draw a card. We still have the crop rotation available. Place Chromatic Star. I'm basically just digging for a Mirror Retriever here. We can make a black mana by sacrificing the Golem and then Deadly Dispute on the Chromatic Star. Draw a bunch of cards and still have crop rotation available. Find a blood fountain. All right, so do we want to use the grotto? I guess if we find um, mirror retriever on top, tower on top, I'm going to go blood fountain and I guess pass the turn. We did a lot of stuff. I'm at 36 cards in the library. I've done a lot of things. We have a murmuring mystic in play, probably wildfire. They wildfire my power plant, it's not a big deal. They play Kenku, also doesn't really do anything. I guess they have blockers. There's no sense in popping out golems right now. Hmm. Let's draw for turn. I think I want to try to Grim Search. So I'm going to Grim Search on the Blood Token. Find the Retriever, find the Rockets. And that's the loop. Rockets. Uh-huh. The mirror retriever. And now we have the everything under control. So I don't know if they want to concede. If they don't want to concede, maybe we try to loop around and look for a Nile spell bomb so they can't um like stonehorn us. Make a ton of golems. Okay, now we have a bunch of golems. So that's probably enough right now. I'm gonna go ahead and bargain away this wizard's rockets and see what we find. Looking for Nile Spellbomb, kind of. 
There we go. Spell bomb, grim search. Okay. And then I'll just play out the Nile spell bomb. And I'll just say go, I guess. Your turn. I could have something like cast into the fire here. And I would have to. Maybe I should have played a second altar out just in case. I'm a little concerned about like double uh what's his face? But they didn't have they didn't play a cast into the fire on the altar or anything previously, so they must not have that in hand. But double cannonade or double breath weapon would wipe the table. It'd be annoying. Place Augur Bull. So now they're not going to be able to double breath weapon. Maybe they have a stone horn or some sort of other combat lock. Find a preordain. We're gonna cast preordain, making a mystic token. Wildfire on what? Sure. I'm going to. We have another one in the deck. I think I'm going to sacrifice a golem, and then just crop rotation. So they don't get to draw a card. Grab my mine. Okay, no card for you. They have six blockers. One. That's all the blockers. There's six now. I have one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. So if they have a removal spell here, they'd have to tap their creature though. Let's go for black and also spell bomb you. We have 40 damage on the table. Everything that they have is going to die except the bridge and the murmuring mystic. And then they just have to attack, I guess. Might have to attack two times if they have a removal spell right now because then they can block six and deal with another one of them so I can deal with seven of them. But I didn't consider in that scenario maybe I should have just left the wildfire alone and let that happen and then just attack with all my things just for time purposes. Okay they're once again just gonna take it. Cool on to round four. We're here in round four on the play. Like it. Uh, only one land. I'm gonna mulligan this one. Darn. Easy mulligan, one land again. Now I feel like I'm priced into keeping. I don't really want to go to four. Let's put back the Golem Foundry and the Rockets lead on map. Hope to draw another land basically. Uh, so we're up against land destruction. That's really disappointing. Who is playing land destruction? Ridiculous. Why? I mean, obviously this person's playing it. I just don't really see why. Sure. Um, I think that Fangren Marauder is slightly better than Weather the Storm versus land destruction. Don't know if I need Conjurer's Bobble. Maybe the Fangren Marauder is not that good because I'm not gonna be able to get that online. It's really just be on the play. Don't get land destructed. Kind of dumb. I guess Scattershot could maybe be okay versus them. Or this one and this one. Maybe Crowclan Shaman over the munitions. I got all of my life gain. We'll see what happens. Really don't uh, have a good matchup versus Ponza, so sorry for just conceding there. But we had one land already. We didn't make our second land drop, and they led on turn potential for turn two land destruction. So what are you going to do? What I was going to do was scoop. We can get lands, so we're going to have two lands on turn three at minimum. If we can get three lands on turn three, we can play the Golem Foundry. Our opponent mulligans to five. Really don't, uh, don't think land destruction is very well positioned right now. So these people that are playing it are definitely diehards. Good for them. Play a map and pass. Plays the Arbor Elf. We'll play a power plant, pass the turn. I think if they go to kill my land, that I map up a swamp so I can... No, that doesn't make sense. I was thinking then I could use a Deadly Dispute. Oh, okay, they're on Teamer land destruction. <laughs> Untaps their land. Plays another Arbor Elf. I think I am going to... Hmm. Oh, whatever, I'll just high roll. Grab a mine. Play the mine. Play the Blood Fountain. I mean, Golem Foundry. Golem Foundry is how we can stay alive in this matchup by spewing out some golems, somehow comboing. 
They play a land. They have four mana available. They temporal spring my land. Okay. Oh, the Scattershot can clear their Arbor Elves, which is nice. Play the Wizard's Rockets. And then we're going to play a Blood Fountain. Pass the turn. So probably next turn I can use the Wizard's Rockets to Deadly Dispute. And if I can draw another land, I can Scattershot their Arbor Elves away. Temporal Spring was fine. Not that big of a deal, actually. Grabs a tap land. Okay, take two. Next turn, they might have the initiative. Let's sacrifice the rockets for black and green. Find a crop rotation. So I'm going to crop away the grotto, the tower, and now play Mirror Retriever. Then deadly dispute the Mirror Retriever. Grabbing, I guess. I think I still want the rockets just as a colored source, even though not having the map. Okay. So now we play land, play rockets, and play map, and then scatter shot their stuff. I like that, that's for sure. So maybe scatter shot is an all star here. Kill your things. Put a couple on the one and three on the other. No more Arbor Elves for you. Yay. If they don't kill my land, I have Expedition Map to grab a uh, colored source. And if they do kill my land, I can Expedition Map for the land. And then I can crack the Wizard's Rockets for colors. And then Grim Search the Blood Token. Looks like they're going to go ahead and destroy my land here. They're thinking about it, considering their options. Lots of different options for the land destruction deck. You can choose to destroy a land. You can also destroy a land if you want. But they go for Azure Fleet Admiral. So they did not destroy my land. Very surprised. They draw a card. Play Candy Trail. And I can see what's on top. And I can draw a card. Another tower and a grotto. Don't want the other tower. I feel like the grotto might be okay. Let's draw a card and then put the grotto onto the table. Another wizard's rockets. I guess that's fine. I'm gonna tap a lot of mana here. Done. So we're gonna go red, green, and all the rest black. Play the wizard's rockets. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grim search the wizard's rockets. Boom. Draw a card, and then we're going to do our awesome surveilling. Find Crow Clan Shaman, Mirror Retriever. Definitely want the Mirror Retriever. I just want Mirror Retriever and this Grim Search. Maybe the Grim Search is a risk. Probably fine. We're just going for that board wipe plan. Play Energy Refractor. Okay, draw a card. Play Mirror Retriever. And I'm going to. Pass the turn after attacking. 4-3, taking the Monarchy. So that means that their Azure Fleet Admiral can attack with the Monarchy every time because it they're going to block. Okay, they're just going to keep the Monarchy even though they could just get it back. Like, I guess denying me a card, but I'd rather... I think if I were them, I probably would just keep attacking back and forth. Azure Fleet Admiral came out the same set as Fall from Favor, which was banned for being a three-mana Monarch. This one's still just four mana. Okay, Utopia Sprawl. All right. I can't really pat, like turn on my yields because they might try to kill the Golem Foundry. They're going to get in for three. Mm-hmm. So now they're the Monarch again. Okay, they make a... They get to draw a card with the Monarch. We're going to make some Golems. We get to attack them for ten. And we've got Candy Trail lined up to draw cards and gain life. And hopefully look for a way to kill their Admiral. Scattershot's pretty much our only option to do that, I guess. Now they're going to cast into the fire? Yeah, they kill the Golem Foundry, okay. Play a Candy Trail. See what's on top. Quark and a Refractor. So I don't think I need the, another Refractor. I'll take the Quark Clan Shaman. And then play out my other artifacts since I have those right now. Then I'll attack you for a lot. Actually, taking the Quirkland Shaman was a mistake, wasn't it? Because 
that doesn't help me. So never mind. Should not have done that. So now I feel like I need to use the expedition map. Maybe grab a power plant. Map for a power plant. Play that. Then I'm gonna grim search. Sacrificing um because we can sacrifice the mirror retriever. But let's bargain away the wizard's rockets and keep the power on the table. Find the Kark again. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, Golem Foundry and Grim Search. Okay. So now just draw a card. Oh man, I was so close. Hmm. I think I pass. Draw for turn. Drawing a deadly dispute. Both my crop rotations are in the graveyard now. Uh, they play a wild growth. That was my land. Okay. And they're not going to attack. All right, so we just win. Fine. I'll take it, but I'm not going to be happy about it. <laughs> uh, um, was Clan Shaman any good? Not really. Is anything going to be any better? Not really. Maybe the scatter. Sh I feel like the scatter shot is good. So I, maybe I can bring in the Fanger Marauders again. And then bring in a Conjurer's Bobble, just as a quick cantrip. Okay, so we've opened up a really sick hand if we don't get our lands killed. So let's pretty much have to just rely on that. Our opponent kept seven, so it's kind of risky. Plays the turn one Arbor Elf, like a good land destruction player. Play Expedition Map, like a good Tron player. They're going to Wild Growth their land. Maybe they don't have land destruction this turn. If my land lives, if I get Tron, you're going to be sad. Hopefully I get Tron. Play a land. I'm going to pass the turn. My, the best thing that could happen is that they don't have land destruction. Second best thing would be, I don't know. As long as they don't have land destruction, I feel fine. Please don't have it. They have it. Don't have it. Lame, I told you to lay off me. You did not. Cycles of Lorien revealed. Plays out their Volatile Fjord. I think we play out our two cantrips so that we can use one of them to sacrifice for black and then deadly dispute on the other. And then if we find the tower, we can just scatter shot. If they have land destruction here, we're pretty hosed. They cast into the fire the wizard's rockets. Play a mole drifter. I don't know why they did that. As a relic of progenitus. Two cards in hand. Um, I'm gonna play out my golem foundry. They're turbo uh turbo relicking me. Just click it real hard. Got a relic. Okay, fair. Good tapping mana. Five mana. There's another mole drifter. Yikes. Now they have three mana from untapping their land. They put a Utopia Sprawl on the land, choosing red. And we got our monthly uh, little bonus there. Whoops. Blows up my land. Wow. Bold strategy. <laughs> so frustrated. Ah, oh, that's okay. Let's stay peppy. I think the only thing we can really do here is deadly dispute the golem foundry looking for lands. Uh, we find a grim search. Don't think we need to deadly dispute the golem foundry because I'm kind of relying on having that land lay out a wizard, uh, wizard's rockets. Seems like we're going to die. My opponent's going to relic and they cast into the fire my wizard's rockets. Okay. All right, finally gets to do their cascade fun. We put a boarding party onto the stack. That means we're getting hit for 10 into 10 and we die. I don't want to play that game anymore. We're hitting round five. On the draw versus the amazing Pepto. I'm gonna mulligan this hand. They also mulliganed. We have to mulligan again a zero lander. Some of the problem with playing Tron is mulliganing zero landers. And people will say, why didn't you play Ancient Stirrings? That's true. I'm going to keep this one 
and put on the bottom a rockets and a tower. And then I'm hoping to draw a power plant, but two lands is enough to get started with. Island, okay. Are you going to have spell pierce right now? Let's see. Lucky that I found the expedition map there and just happened to draw exactly what I needed. Sometimes you get lucky and they pass their turn. Okay, fine. That's cool. Power plant. They F6 at the wrong time there. Play the power plant. Play a candy trail. Let's see what's on top. Blood fountain and grim search. These are both good. The chromatic star. Play mirror retriever. Which we can get it back with the blood fountain. And the grim search can also grim search away the star or the mirror retriever later. Uh, I actually don't know what the order was that I kept them in, so I'm just going to draw a card here. So I could have Sacrifice for Black and then Grim Searched, but I think they have a Counterspell of some sort. Blue, two islands in play, do nothing. Kind of indicates counter, right? I think they're Now they're cycling. So is this Jeskai Ephemerate again? Rhymewood Falls? We're playing against Turbo Fog. Okay, that's going to be a thing. All right, so first step, attack. There's the potential for them to have Bajukabog in the main deck. So we have to watch out for that. Let's crack this for black. Grim search away the mirror retriever. Getting back the candy trail. We're gonna surveil four. Okay, deadly dispute, chromatic star. Play rockets. Play chromatic star. Trying to get ahead of them having a weather the storm here. Black. Deadly Dispute, the Rockets, okay, we're doing things, found the Golden Foundry, um, play a land, I'll play the Candy Trail, Grim Search and Rockets, so both of those are good, and I'll pass, they play an Accumulated Knowledge, we're looking to combo with them not being able to weather the storm us on that turn. If they have Weather the Storm available when we're trying to combo, then we can't actually make that happen because we have to respect it. And if we go too far, we'll never be able to win the game. There is also the chance that we have to just try to make ship munitions them in game one, which would be really tough. The Golem Foundry, play Crack This Candy Trail, play Expedition Map, and then I'm going to grab a tower. Play the tower and play out the Ashnod's altar. Then could play the Blood Mount Fountain right now. That gets me something on the table. Or I could play the Wizard's Rockets. I think I'm going to play the Blood Fountain. So now we're going to luckily be pressuring them with the Golem Foundries. They can't really do anything about my Golem Foundry uh, itself, so I can just easily just yield until end step there. Okay, what are you going to do? Hold the multiverse on their end combat. <laughs> so this is clearly the same deck that's playing the deserts then. If we can find a... Yep, okay, there's the Bajukabog. So one Retriever is down. Looks like the Ritual Sinkhole build. Okay. Play Expedition Map. Then I'm going to sacrifice the map for another tower. And then play the Wizard's Rockets. And then Grim Search the Wizard's Rockets. Drawing cards. We find Altar and Retriever. We can probably just take the Retriever. Altar to the Graveyard. Let's cycle. All right. Um, I could just play out everything. Play Mirror Retriever. The Conjurer's Bobble. And play Expedition Map. And then I can actually use the expedition map to draw a card by cycling the uh, polluted mire back in with the bobble and then blood token, or I can play a chromatic star. And that's probably better because now I have more power on the table. So here's three damage. They have moments peace in the graveyard. So at the moment, we're looking for second mirror retriever and an uh, energy refractor so that we can go off and draw our entire deck into the makeshift munitions. I guess at this point I want to, oh, I still was going to cycle map, get my cycle land, go ahead and cycle. 
Find another tower. Okay. Let's attack. And we definitely don't need the weather the storm, so I can feel free to put that into the graveyard with the blood token. They're going to use Tangle. Okay. So we have an opportunity to win here, depending on whether, have, whether or not they have counter spells. Let's blood token and get rid of the weather of the storm. Play another golem foundry. Let's grim search on this mirror retriever. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's okay. Bargain away the retriever. Get back a bobble. Deadly dispute and candy trail. So let's play out the candy trail and then make more golems. Still not uh, worried about them having weather the storm this turn, which is huge. Find Mirror Retriever and Makeshift Munitions. Okay. So I'm going to top and top. And then I'm going to draw a card. Play the Conjurer's Bobble. And I'm going to play the Mirror Retriever. And let's see if they have a counterspell. They have a counterspell. Okay, so we're going to sacrifice. Make a black. Sacrifice again. Get back these two creatures. And I think they are dead, but we'll find out. The mirror retriever. Okay, so that's their last counter spell. Which countering there was not smart. And now we have to make enough mana to kill them. <sighs> okay. Well, we did it. We forced through Turbo Fog in game one. So they're at 16 life, right? We have one, two, three, four artifacts. And then we need another 12 damage. And to make 12 damage, we need, we need three golems per two damage. So that's six, so we need 18 golems. Plus we need to make the red mana to make cast munitions. So we need two more, a bunch more mana. So we need 18, potentially like 22 golems. So that'll take some time. But they felt very safe and they are not, not today. I have to go up to like 36 on each of these, so I will see you in a little bit. Okay, we are now getting the Chromatic Star. Play the Chromatic Star. Okay, now we're gonna get, make a bunch of golems. And then hopefully I count in right. We need 16 artifacts. I'm gonna crack this for red. Play the makeshift munitions. And then make 16 mana. Oh, they scooped. Perfect. Love it. So we had 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I don't know if we had enough mana. I think we were one mana short from killing them that turn. Wow. Okay, I have to restart my application. You can see that there's a huge amount of lag here. So we have to restart MTGO. Okay, we have some really easy cuts in the weather of the storms. For the now spell bombs then we want the stream of thought and probably just trim one crop rotation don't think the ancient grudge is going to be necessary and if this is the ritual sinkhole build then we have to watch out for a fairy macabre we have turn three tron all right keep we just got to play super crazy fast land play map pass the turn our opponent's going to preordain goes top bottom Plays a land, plays another preordain. What do you got? Top, top. Okay. We play our land and grab our mine. And that's my turn. I'm trying to save milliseconds here, basically. <laughs> they play an AK, looking for a land. Oh, I guess they had the land. They knew they had the land. Now we can go mine, play mirror retriever, star, play candy trail. Uh, do you like the energy refractor here? So let's top both of these. And then I'm just going to draw the refractor real quick. Play the refractor. Draws me into my mirror retriever. Your turn. So now we can crop the power plant into a tower and have more mana. They play another AK. So that puts them on six cards in hand. Plays a preordain. Hmm. We know we're drawing. Nope, we we drew through the candy trail scries already. So I don't know if we're going to be comboing soon. Hmm. 
I guess at this point I probably want to draw with the candy trail and then bargain the retriever getting back the candy trail. Get the power plant. Green. Crop that power plant. Grab a tower. Your retriever. Draw a card. Can attack you for one. Just pecking in. Black. We can Grim Search. Sacrificing the Mirror Retriever to get the Candy Trail. And then find Spell Bomb and Blood Fountain. Both of those are good. So we want to play Candy Trail and Scry. Rockets, I think, is good because we can sacrifice that to the Grim Search. Play the Spell Bomb. Pass the turn. The Spell Bomb is going to disrupt their accumulated knowledges. It's also going to disrupt like their um, other stuff like la 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 when, it, when they can get stuff back from Stream of Thought. Sorry, I'm moving fast. Okay, Wizards Rockets. Play that. Play Energy Refractor. Or um, Blood Fountain. We get to make a Blood Token. Mine. Let's token away a land. Draw a card. Um, I think I'm going to pass. Well, let's play the map and then sacrifice them. Let's just go to your turn, I guess. No tax. I don't want the desert to hit my thing. Make it too easy for them to fairy macabre me. Do you want to gain 12? We're going to growth spiral. Is it a bajuka bog? No. They just draw a card. They don't get to put any lands in play. Plays Words of Wisdom. Uh, okay. We'll draw a card. Fantastic. I would love to draw a card. We play Grow Spiral. So of note, in order for me to actually accomplish my combo, it's much easier to have the Wizard's Rockets in play. So I think I have to consider that. I Grow Spiral and miss on lands again, my friend. That's not good. Passing. I'm going to crack for the Polluted Mire and Cycle. What's happening? Crack for the Polluted Mire. And then I will cycle that away. Find a Chromatic Star. So I can Grim Search on the Chromatic Star. They discard a Moments piece. The Chromatic Star. And another Star. And then I'll just sacrifice one of them for black. And Grim Search the other one. We found a mirror retriever. Not much else though. I think I just bought bin everything here. Draw two cards. Play the crystal grotto to scry. We're at 25 cards in deck. Don't want another rockets, I don't think. Play this rocket. And the bauble. Guess I'm putting the mirror retriever onto the table. Gives them a huge amount of storm for the turn. Mm -hmm. Not great. I just don't have a weather the storm right now, I guess. We're at 11 minutes on deck, on clock. We need to resolve, find and resolve a golem foundry and astronaut's altar, of course. They just scoop. Okay, they just weren't having it. They didn't feel like they wanted to play the game, and uh, that's cool with me. We did not have anything really going on. Would have been a while. Oh my goodness. Way down. Keep going. Astronaut's Altar was like 12 from the bottom. That's crazy. So what happened here? We lost to Mono Red from pretty poor post-board hands, and we lost to Ponza. I think that losing the Ponza is pretty much expected, unfortunately. You can kind of slide by, but eh, it's not that great. So when you're opening the hands in Altar Tron, you want to be looking for hands that have two lands and can get Tron fast. Let's draw another hand here. So this, I would maybe keep this because of the candy trail and then not been rewarded and died. So let's try again. That's a very good keep. Try again. Very good keep. So when it comes down to is you need lands and spells, right? This is obviously a sick hand. <laughs> <sighs> so this deck is meant to be having Tron fast and making up all of the mulligans with all of this extra draw spells. So make sure that you do that. Uh, don't take, take it from me. Learn to mulligan into a hand that's functional and then start to go off and get your advantage from your card draw. 
Hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry I got salty about Ponza. I hate that deck and I don't want to play against it. So that's what it is. Uh, if you want to check out more about Altertron, definitely check out the Patreon. And uh, let's leave on a high note. We did make a 3-2, got that treasure chest, and I'm going to keep playing Altertron and refining it, and I'll see you in the next video.